Hi. Charlie. Veronica. How's life treating you, Veronica? Not too bad. How about you? Well, that depends on which answer you want. There's more than one? Well, I could give you the everything's hunky-dory, I live at the beach, drive a nice car, and have a python in my pants answer, or I could tell you the truth. You have an inchworm in your pants? No, the python part's true. <laughs> okay, so what is wrong with Charlie? All right, fine, I'll tell you. Two bourbons straight up. You want anything? I'm good. I'll spare you the details of my selfish, narcissistic, soul-sucking mother, my deadbeat, oddly effeminate brother, and the future organ donor we call my nephew. Okay. And just to bring you up to speed on my recent romantic adventures, about this time last year, I was engaged to the greatest gal I'd ever met. Uh-huh. So what went wrong? Hard to pinpoint. It could have been my, my, my drinking, my compulsive gambling, or it could have been me sleeping with her best friend. <laughs> I can see why it'd be hard to pinpoint. I know, right? So anyway, she dumped me for a nice guy, but I got right back on the horse and married a drug-addled stripper. That didn't work out? Not for the reasons you'd think. She was already married. Whoops. So I figured maybe I'd take a break for a while from the dating and just see hookers. Sure. Yeah, I'm aware of the social stigma, but I like to think of prostitution as trickle-down economics. Actually, it's all kind of trickle-down. It's very Republican when you think about it. Uh-huh. You know what? I will have another drink. And so anyway, I take the moral high ground and try to break up with the 47-year-old so I won't be tempted to hit on her hot 20-year-old daughter. Laudable. But, surprise, surprise, Mom breaks up with me first because she finds out I still have feelings for this crazy broad that stalks me. Next thing I know, my ex-girlfriend gets out of prison. I'm right in the middle of Thanksgiving. Can I stop you a sec? Sure. Thank you. For what? I came in here tonight because I was angry at my pig of a boyfriend. But after listening to you, I realized I was unfair to him. There's something below pig. Okay, well, I'm glad I can help. How's life treating you? In what universe did I not hear everything you just said? Nobody likes an eavesdropper. 